Yo, what's going up guys? It is me, Johnny the Collecting Wizard, back at it again with another Hogwarts Legacy gameplay video. And oh my goodness, guys. So if you guys saw my previous video, we left in a little cliffhanger. And this video, oh my god, we are going to go fly a broomstick. It is my first ever time flying a broomstick inside Hogwarts Legacy before the whole Warner Brothers uh, invitation before the game even came out. But we finally have the full game in our hands. But guys, today we are flying a broom in flying class. Stay tuned because it's going to be a really good one. Without further ado, cue the intro. Let's get today's video going. You're a wizard, Harry. Alrighty, flying class. In today's flying class, Madam Kagawa, Kagawa, Kogawa, don't know how to pronounce it very good. But anyways, she is reviewing basic broom flight and maneuver maneuverability. There we go. Maneuverability. There we go. Oh my goodness. Okay, and without further ado, here we go. There we go. That's my guy. Here we go. Oh, it is still nighttime. Whoa! I guess they they put rings out here. Are they everywhere? Just these three. Interesting. Oh wait, does he have a niche? Oh no, it's a ball. <laughs> I thought he had a golden snitch. Here we have the brooms. Oh my god! Can I just grab one right now? Practice on my own? I guess I have to wait. And I'm assuming we're going to transition into the daytime, of course. And, uh, yeah, here we go. Ready or not? Everybody grab a broom and we shall get started. Oh, who was that? Oh my goodness. We're flying a broom. Mr. Clopton, your attention, please. Sorry, Madam Kagawa. Kagawa. Everyone, please welcome a new student to our flying class. Welcome. Hello. Hello. The goal of today is to remind all of you how to maneuver on a broomstick safely, as broom flight is, first and foremost, a means of transportation. This, I fear, some of you have forgotten. Oh. Diving, rolling, and loop-the-loops will not be taught or in fact tolerated in this class. Mm. We'll leave that to professional Quidditch players, like the Toyohashi Tengu. <laughs> not a fan, I take it? <laughs> now. Let's see how well everyone kept up with their practice over the summer holidays. For those who need a refresher, step up to your broom. Say up firmly and clearly. Then kick your leg over and oh rest your weight on the seat. Up. up. Thank you. Now, your turn. Up. Up. Up, you stupid ratty school Oh my god. This reminds me of the first movie. Up. Whoop. Super fast. One leg over, so there's a leg on each side. None of that side saddle nonsense. A gust of wind will throw you right off. Hmm. And if you hear my whistle while you're in flight, ground yourself at once. Can't teach us how to ground ourselves? Because <laughs> uh, Neville Good. had an issue with it. Now, for your first lesson, fly through each ring in the courtyard. Do take care. The brooms are school oh, property. This'll take some getting I used to. I want them returned in one piece. <laughs> this is brilliant. Okay. That's all? That's all? That's all? They didn't even let me fly fast. Well done. Now that you're acclimatized to your broom, let's see how well you manage with a more advanced exercise, shall we? Yes, please. Oh, man. This next set of rings oh. will take you around the grounds for more of a challenge. More of a challenge? What a view. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Hello. Nice day for a flight. Yes, yes it is. Ha <laughs> ha! Brilliant! Woohoo! 
I need to scratch my neck, house. but I can't let go. Wish you could have experienced crossing the lake as the first year. Okay, so with the right stick, you get to go up or down. Or well, not really. Uh, kind of side to side. And that's basically your altitude and the left Whoa. stick. Our aquatic Whoa, likes to make it's a squid! <laughs> no way! I can't believe they added that to the game. It's a giant squid. Made it! Oh, did anyone else see that? I want to fly faster, is there? Oh, well done! Have a moment! Wow, that was awesome. I say, I watched you fly through those rings. You seem to handle yourself on that dusty school broom well enough. I'd imagine you're ready for something a bit more challenging. Who? But I'm getting ahead of myself. We haven't properly met. I'm Everett Clopton. Am I right in suspecting that a Slytherin like you might be interested in making an escape from class? <laughs> Can't say no to that. What did you have in mind? A bit of a detour, so to speak. Follow me. The tour is about to begin. Follow closely now. Right now, we're flying over the Transfiguration Courtyard. <laughs> Lovely as ever. Let's hope the headmaster isn't oh. having tea by the window today. Where's he going? Can you show me where the heck you're going first? Nice to get above it all, isn't it? Yes, yes it is. Oh. Dude, he is in it. Ahead of the gardens, the Hufflepuff common room windows just peek out. Bit claustrophobic for my taste. How is Everett flying so quickly? Here's something handy to know. Lean forward for a burst of speed. Helpful if you need to escape a tricky situation. Oh, wait, what? <laughs> now that's more like it. Yeah. You sure you're not part hippogriff? I'll show you part hippogriff. <laughs> There's the famous bridge. Think of all the magic holding it up. I mean, look at it. And Meowlery. That's a bit of solid architecture, isn't it? S Flying tips and a jaunt around Hogwarts. This is quite the tour, Everett. <laughs> Whoa. That's Kagawa's whistle. This concludes our tour. Best hurry back. I'm trying to. Oh yeah, he's going real fast. Already dismissed class. Better hurry and hand in our brooms. Boom. And where have you two been? Taking a stroll. Oh, hello, Professor. We were trying to get a bit of extra practice in. Hefty points will be taken from each of you for not following my instructions. What? Mr. Clopton, I am disappointed in you. You're in this class because you're still because you're still not showing yourself, or frankly, your broom the proper respect. But Professor, enough. Class is finished for the day. As for you, you do well to use better judgment in the future. Chin up. That was some rather good flying. Then why take points away from me if it was good flying? This is why Hogwarts doesn't. Sorry about that business with Kagawa. Make any sense? But you have to admit those views were worth it. I have no regrets. It was worth losing a few house points for that detour. You seem at home on a broom. Bet if you had a fancy model, you could fly laps around Imelda. She's Kagawa's favorite. Oh yeah. I could show her a thing or two if I had my own broom. Hate having to return the school broom after class. Perhaps I have to purchase a broom then. If you can, you should. Wish I could. I recommend visiting Albie Weeks at Spintwitch's in Hogsmeade. He's always looking to test new models. Yeah. I'll keep an eye out for you in the sky. Flying class completed. 
But now I want my own broom. I want to fly. Look at that. Not sure we should study for these it looks so cool. Ooh, how fun was that flying? Although I do want to probably pass by Hogsmeade and see if I could get my own broom. You never know. Purchase a broom at Spint Witches. Let me go to Spint Witches. Go, oh wait, whoops. I used to, whatever, that's fine. Go to Hogsmeade, Hogsmeade map. Spent witches, which should be right here, right? Boom, yes. Here, and here we go, traveling to get a broom. Woo -hoo -hoo. Okay, here we go. I'm so excited. Sometimes it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. Yeah, sounds about right. Oh, whoops, almost, almost past it. Ah, oh, new face, wonderful. This looks beautiful. Oh my god, look at these. Wow, is that a freaking... That looks like a carrot. Why does that look like a carrot? Okay, let's talk. Hello, Mr. Weeks, is it? Albie Weeks at your service. Welcome to Spin Witches. Apologies if you came by before and weren't able to come in. Shop's been closed since trade routes were disrupted. I had to travel as far as London to meet with my supplier. And Oof. I've only just returned. Thankfully, with inventory. I presume you're in the market for a new broom? I am. Got a few rare yew weavers available. Ember dash, silver arrows. Wind wisps, too. No matter what broom you choose, you'll be pleased. They're all exceptional, both in quality and performance. Hmm. Disrupted trade route makes you close. What else can you share about brooms? Do you mind sharing more about your brooms? I have a passion for them. Every detail of every model. Take wind wisps, well known for their quality ash handles. Yew weavers are rare because some fear flying them, likely to do with the yew wand's darker reputation. Then you add the ember dash, known for its handsome appearance. Working with brooms every day makes me practically giddy. It's one of many reasons I cherish running this shop. Hmm. You said disrupted trade routes caused you to close spent witches. Terrible it's been. Trade routes reported as unusable. Evidently, criminals are overtaking roads, threatening hamlets. I can fly safely almost anywhere, but you try flying with an inventory of brooms on your back. No easy feat. Mm. Right then, back to work. If a particular broom takes your fancy, just let me know. Thank you so much. Sounds quite the array of brooms. I'll have a look around. Thank you. <clears throat> what are we looking for today? Oof. Amber Dash Broom. The perfect broom for those with a fiery temperament. Hogwarts House Broom. A broom enchanted to celebrate your particular Hogwarts House pride. Moon Trimmer. Actually, let's see what these look like. That item is at the highest mm. quality. Oh, I like the back. It's glowing. Okay. Okay, let's see this one, the Hogwarts house. Is it ah, looks boring. Moon Trimmer Broom, finely crafted from ash. This broom is built for stability. That item is of the highest quality. Yeah, you've been saying that about every broom. What a good salesman. Wind Wisp Broom, a stylish broom with a light touch, quite literally. That item is of the highest quality. Hmm. This is the one that he was talking about that is a very powerful one. Hmm, I know how I feel about it. A comfortable and speedy broom with a unique woven design. See, I like... That item is of the highest quality. I don't know if... Hmm. That item is of the highest quality. I think I'm gonna go for this one. You'll be thrilled with that broom, I promise you. Thanks for stopping by. Whilst nearly any broom will certainly be a step up from the practice brooms in Kagawa's class, they all have their limitations. Hmm. You seem to be a flyer who might be interested in, say, some enhancements? Go on. Ha! Knew I was right about you. I think you'll be quite happy <coughs> with the performance of any broom at lower altitudes. But you may notice that speed consistency tends to falter as you rise. I believe I can remedy this issue. 
I have some ideas for enchantments, upgrades, if you will, that will improve the performance of any broom you fly. What I need is someone to conduct the broom flight and report back to me so I can perfect the upgrades. As it happens, another Hogwarts student, Imelda Reyes, is using abandoned broom courses for time trials. Clever girl. Mm -hmm. An ideal situation for collecting flight statistics. If you were to compete for the best time and succeed, then report back to me with how your broom behaved, I could complete work on my first upgrade. What say? Hmm. Why am I the right person for this? You took my... Ah. <laughs> uh. Yeah, let's go. That sounds intriguing. I'll see what I can do. Thank you. It'll be worth your while <coughs> if I'm right. The new upgrade ought to enhance brooms in every regard. And I can give you a special price. The time trial should be a bit of fun too. Go to the Quidditch pitch and Imelda Reyes will sort you out. Once you've beaten Imelda's time, be sure to let me know. Your gear slots are full. So, oof. 20 out of 20. Okay, so let's destroy this one. Destroy this one. <clears throat> See, but I still don't want to look like I'm wearing gloves. So this is a pro tip for all of you guys. If you guys get anything, um, so for instance, this one, as you can see, has a, um, a shorter offense than this one. But you don't, let's say you don't want your character to have the wand or the, the gloves. You could just come here to change appearances and just use invisible gloves and till the, they'll appear invisible, the, the clothing item. And you can do that with pretty much anything. It doesn't just have to be uh, the gloves. It could be face wear, it could be head wear. So for instance, I have this hat on right now, but you don't even see it because I'm not wearing it. <coughs> Let's see, outfit. So see, you can see right here, this actually increases my defense up to 15% more. Um, so I'm gonna, ooh, I actually like that. Not bad. Hmm. And I'm gonna keep this one, but as you can see, that black one stays with me. Look at that. That is my broom, my new broom, ladies and gentlemen. This looks awesome. Alrighty. <sighs> Can't help Unidentified back item. Enthusiasm. Distinguished Amber Cloak. Fortunately, we can't fly inside Hogsmeade Village. So we're gonna Does it get any exit more out of here. Than Hogsmeade? Boom, and we are off. This is awesome. Let's go down. Ooh. Look at Hogwarts. <clears throat> Speak with Emilda Rays at the Quidditch pitch, and we are almost there. This is why we needed a broom to begin with. Walking was taking too long. But we are here in the Quidditch pitch. Teach me some stuff. If it isn't Slytherin's newest broom talent. Oh, yeah. What's Hello, up? Imelda. What's up, lady? Albie Weeks sent me. <laughs> did he now? Yeah, Still he did. tinkering with his broom upgrade, no doubt. I tried to help him once. He nitpicked my flying technique, and that was the end of that. The nerve. Why is he roping you into his broom testing silliness? You've barely started flying from what I know. Caught wind of you showing off in flying class with Clopton. Oh, you sound jealous. Seems someone's jealous of my skills on a broom. <laughs> Me? 
Slytherin Quidditch captain. Jealous of you. Everyone knows that class is only for beginners, troublemakers, and bumbling baboons. But for some <laughs> reason, now people think you're competition. Ugh, I can't be having that. Perhaps I am competition. You can't be what passes for Slytherin these days. Pfft, ragged old hats dropping at standards. Enough of this. Only one way to find out who's the better flyer. I hold one of the fastest times on this course. Let's see if you can beat it. Slytherin versus Slytherin. Mm hmm. Actually, why not? I can beat your record. I'm so looking forward to seeing you lose. I can't stand this lady. Oh my god, we're in the same house. We're supposed to be cool with each other. Let's go. Let's teach this lady what we can do. Brilliant. Did it. Come on, come on. Woo, woo. Oh my god, I That's missed the whole Oh my god. To. Yep. Yep. Yep, messed it completely. Damn. Come on. <laughs> Woo! Come on. This is rather fun. Woo! Oh! Almost hit the freaking corner. This is not as easy as it looks, oh my god. Oh, this haunts me station! Excellent. Ooh. Missed that one. Oh. Oof. Ha. Good. I've got this. I missed a ring once. And they gave me a penalty, and I still won. Okay, not bad. But, oh my goodness, that was not that easy. That was not that easy. Hmm. Alright, come here, Lee. Uh, that's not... You, you must have cheated, you... <laughs> oh, fine, you won. Don't think this is over. You can't determine skill from one single trial. Surely my win means something. Uh, you're not terrible. But you're still going to have to prove yourself if you want to earn my respect. I don't want respect from the likes of you. <laughs> All you do is insult people. Yep. You and everyone else need to get a thicker skin. Anyway, I'm moving on to the next course. It's near Irondale and offers a much tougher challenge. You can try to prepare by racing this course again. Just check in at the podium where the leaderboard is. You can check your time and start the race. We'll see next time if your win here was more than just a fluke. Flake. Whilst on an errand for Albie Weeks. We are heading back to Hogsmeade's Hogsmeade Village, sorry. But yeah, did you see that flying, guys? You had to fly by uh, the Glenfinnan Viaduct, which is right over there. Um, you also are able to fly by... Um, or we did fly by Hogsmeade Village. Ooh. I'm gonna hit the tree! Ah. Hogsmeade, here I come. Look at that. So, okay. You see that? It's like a, like a protective barrier. Kind of like what we saw in the last movie. That's pretty cool. Doesn't let you fly in. Oh, you're back! With something to report, I hope. I'll never set the record for my broom, yes. Mr. Wheats, I was able to set a record on my broom. Incredible! <laughs> Miss Ray's must have been shocked. Tell me, how was the broom? A little turbulent, and it's wanting for a bit of speed, but mm -hmm. it fared well enough. I will say that it tended to drift a bit to the left on certain turns. 
heard a slight swoosh when I dipped. Oh, thank you. Hmm. That's precisely what I needed to know. Drifted, eh? I shall get to work immediately. Even the naysayers will be forced to admit that my work's had potential all along. Who has doubted you? Um... Why would anyone doubt your ability to upgrade brooms? No, oh, you'd be surprised. People get set in their ways. Worry that fiddling with what's working fine will somehow ruin it. <sighs> Those people don't appreciate the sense of freedom that comes with quality broom flight. Nor do they appreciate all that's involved in the creative process. I have a friend in Rome runs a shop like mine. Says it's worse there. <laughs> of course, they do nap in the afternoons from what I hear. And where would we be without enhancements? I mean, if Elliot Smevik had let the naysayers get to him, we would never have had the cushioning charm. I don't listen to him. I'm excited to hear more. I have a very good feeling about this upgrade. I guarantee you'll be pleased. Expect to hear from me soon. <laughs> hmm. How to address the issue of altitude as it relates to speed? I'll leave you to it then. All right, I'm heading out to meet Sebastian. Wonder what Sebastian wants. All right, meet Sebastian, let's go. So we are off to meeting Sebastian because last time we were talking to him, he actually saved our back and threw himself under the bus and saying that he was all alone in the restricted section. When in fact, he was actually taking care of me. And protecting me. Sebastian, it's been a while. It has. Glad you received my owl. I have something to show you. First, mm -hmm. let me thank you for what you did in the library. Of course. Scribner tried to give me detention, but I have ways out of these things. Well, you took the fall for me, and that counts for something. Did you find what you were looking for? I did, but something was missing. I'm not sure here is the best place to discuss it. <laughs> Understood. We can talk more in a moment, in the Undercroft. Not even the professors know about this place. Oh, man. This way, there's a secret passage just here. It's well disguised. How did you find this place? My friend, Ominous Gaunt. He named it the Undercroft. Wow. We used to play gobstones here all the time. With my sister, Anne. She loved that infernal game. What I wouldn't give to lose to her again. I should tell you, I swore to Ominous I would safeguard this place. So please, keep this between us. He never confides in anyone. But he's trusted me since the day we met. I wouldn't want to jeopardize that. We used to sneak in here almost daily. We've never been caught. Interesting. I know Ominous. Met him in our common room. I've noticed he uses his wand to navigate the castle. He does. No idea how, though. Ominous was born blind, and no spell could reverse it. His wand seems almost sentient. Not surprising, I suppose. Ollivander always says, the wand chooses the wizard. Is that how he found this place? No, someone in his family knew about it. The Gaunts are full of secrets. I've never heard anyone else speak of it, and I've certainly never seen anyone else here. Again, mention this to no one, especially Ominous. He has no love lost for his family or their secrets, but this place is special to him. Of course. Ominous spoke to me about his family when we first met. Hmm. To say that he has no love lost for them is an understatement. Glad you understand. Anyway, the Undercroft has been a perfect place to sneak off to, away from prying eyes, and even practice otherwise forbidden spells. Really? Like what? Like the Blasting Curse. Professors say it's not an appropriate spell to teach students. A proper magical education ought to include all magic. My thoughts exactly. A yep. spell like Confringo is only truly dangerous in untrained hands. Such spells should be properly taught, not banned. Mm -hmm. To be fair, 
I'm admittedly partial to more fiery forms of magic. Me too. But you should learn it. I can teach it to you safely here. It may take a while to get the feel for it. Mimic my wand movement. The incantation is Confringo. Very well. Confringo. You're getting it. Ready to actually try it out? You had me at explosion. Stick to the targets, though. Best to keep the Undercroft intact. Have a go at those candelabras. Both have their uses, but I think you'll find that a Kondo cast travels a bit farther than that of a spell like you Oh, my goodness. I put the wrong one. Confringo. There we go. Confringo! Nice work. How's it feel? It's a tad hot. You'll get used to it. That's it! I think I've got it. Well done. Nice. Oh, sorry. I have to say, I enjoyed that. The first time <laughs> Ominous and I practiced Confringo, we singed our eyebrows. <laughs> I would have paid to see that. I swore we'd never live it down. So this day, there's something about that spell that's addictive. Ready for this more spells? This is exactly the type of magic I've been hoping to learn. There's more where that came from. Been practicing similar spells here for ages. Although, I didn't tell Anne and Ominous about every one. I haven't been here in some time. It's not the same without Anne. I'm sorry about your sister. If there's anything I can do... Perhaps when I next head to Feldcroft, you could come along. Meet Anne. She could use some cheering up. That's so nice of him. Just let me know when and I'll meet you. Oh, she misses Hogwarts. She's been stuck at home with our guardian, Uncle Solomon. Unfortunately, you'll have to meet him too. Well, meeting a new student will be precisely what she needs. I shall look forward to it. Cheers. By the way, what was it you couldn't discuss out in the hall earlier? I'm not sure where to start. You said something was missing from what you found in the library. I assume it's to do with what you told me. About the port key and Gringotts and Ranrock. Nothing gets past you. <laughs> and yes, it is. As I'm sure you suspect, there is a bit more to all of this. I'm listening. I think it's time to just tell him the truth. He's obviously super open to us. So I think he should... And he took care of us with the whole library issue, so... You must promise to keep this between us. I trusted you with knowledge of the secret Undercroft. You can trust me. All right. I can see traces of ancient magic. Ancient magic? I don't know what I was expecting you to say, but it wasn't that. <laughs> what does that even mean? Honestly, I'm not entirely certain. All I know is that I can see whispers of an old magic that hardly anyone else can. Fig and I think that Ranrock has somehow found a way to harness that magic's power. Are you telling me that goblins may be wielding some sort of wizard magic? That's what we're trying mm -hmm. to find out. And this ability of yours, does this allow you to wield this magic too? I... Uh, I don't know. Well, when you do know, tell me. I've been studying archaic forms of magic for ages. Perhaps we can help each other. In the meantime, with both Rookwood and Ranrock after you, I suspect a bit more time practicing the blasting curses in order. Spend as much time here as you'd like. And remember, keep this place between us. Mm. When I head to Feldcroft, I'll send you an owl. Alrighty. I think it was a good thing to tell him the truth. I think hopefully it doesn't bite me back. It doesn't come back to bite me in the butt. Hello, Sebastian. Oh. Uh, Wait. Uh. You there. I can hear you. Oh, uh, hello, Ominous. I was just heading to our common room. I've recognized that voice. You're the new fifth year. Did you just come from the Undercroft? How did you get in there? I stumbled upon it. That room's called the Undercroft. Ah, 
Well, I was exploring and then suddenly found myself in a strange passageway. Don't lie to me. No one stumbles upon that room. Sebastian told you, didn't he? You breathe a word about this place to anyone. And not even your precious Professor Fig will be able to help you. My father is friends with the headmaster. I am not afraid to exploit that connection if I need to. No need for threats. I promise not to say anything. I don't think he should threaten me. You needn't threaten me. I'm not going to say anything about your undercroft. And Sebastian is a good friend. You shouldn't immediately assume the worst of him. I don't need you to tell me about my oldest friend. Thank you very much. Ominous, I just meant- I know what you meant. Sebastian gets himself in enough trouble. He doesn't need your help. Oh my god. Sebastian is going to get an earful about this. Oh. Whoa. Just disappeared. Well, that is going to be the video for today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys did, smash that like button down below. And as always, if you guys are new here, hello, I'm Johnny, the Collecting Wizard, and I talk about everything Harry Potter and Hogwarts Legacy on a daily basis. Love you guys. See you guys on the next one.